Take six speakers that can hold up to 100 milliliters and six speakers that can hold up to 50 milliliters. Label the first set of beakers 0 to 5. Fill beaker 0 with 100 milliliters of 1.0 molarity hydrogen chloride. Pipette 10 milliliters of hydrogen chloride into beaker 1. Now add 90 milliliters of water to beaker 1 to make 100 milliliters. Pipette 10 milliliters of 1 of 0.10 molarity hydrogen chloride from beaker 1 into beaker 2. Now add 90 milliliters of water to beaker 2 to make 100 milliliters of 0 0.010 molarity hydrogen chloride. Repeat in beakers 3, 4, and 5. Now take half of the solution from the first set of beakers and add it to the second set. Label the second set 0 through 5. Add a few drops of methyl violet indicator to the first set of beakers. Add a few drops of methyl orange indicator to the last set of beakers. To find the pH values for the solutions in our beakers, we can use an ICE table. Let's start with beaker zero, with a concentration of 1.0 molarity hydrogen chloride. Since hydrogen chloride is a strong acid, it disassociates completely, leaving the concentration of hydronium to be 1.0 molarity. From this, we can assume the hydronium concentrations of the other beakers are equal to the concentrations of hydronium cl hydrogen chloride for the respective beakers. Now to find pH. pH is the negative log of the concentrations of hydronium ions, so pH for beaker zero would be negative log one, which is equal to zero. For beaker one, it would be negative log 0.1, which is equal one to one, and for beaker two it would be negative log 0 0.01, which equals two. This is why we originally named our beakers zero through five instead of one through six, because now the pH matches our beaker numbers. In this experiment, we see that indicators show through color change that a shift in pH has occurred. But why do indicators change color? First, indicators are usually either weak acids or weak bases. When they react in an acidic solution, the equation reads as such, with HIN representing the indicator and IN- minus being the anion. In an indicator, the molecules of HIN are one color, while the anion, IN- minus, is another. The pH will determine which color is visible. Acids have a strong concentration of hydronium ions and low pHs. When an indicator reacts with a very acidic solution, the high concentration of hydronium ions increases the product. Le Chatelier's principle then takes effect and the reaction shifts to the left of the equation, producing more reactant, which is visible as color 1. As the pH increases, the color of solution will be between color 1 and color 2 until the concentration of HIN is equal to the concentration of IN- minus, and the pH of the solution is equal to the pKa of the indicator when color 2 will finally show.